Hello visual effects people, I'm AK and we are going to talk about driving Niagara with fluid simulation. Namely, uh, the Fluid Ninja Niagara data interface. Ninja 1.3 came out recently with a two-way data flow. And so I'm introducing the input part of the data flow by simply calling a Niagara system in Ninja. And it is used to drive the density input of a fluid simulation. I'm picking this as an example, this smoke thing, and I'm uh, baking it to a 42 frame flip book by just pressing the record button and it's done. And I'm closing the baking panel, quitting from Ninja to the Unreal Editor and let's see what we have in the output folder uh, the density texture of the simulation the velocity texture and the basic player material that is uh, utilizing this flipbook and we are going to use this density and velocity data with a Niagara texture sampling module that is channeling sampling this uh, texture baked fluid simulation data into float vector and color parameters so we could access them in Niagara and drive various parameters any parameter we would like to and I'm going to load a Niagara demo level with this smoke already placed in scene And as you could see, we have this uh, density and velocity flipbook playing. I'm pressing play and getting a bit closer here. Uh, you could see how pure velocity is used to drive a GPU particle system. And in this case, again, just velocity. Please notice that while I'm using this object, Niagara particles are uh, colliding. And this is a good thing, since I could use velocity data in an additive manner by applying it on particle acceleration. And so particles could collide with dynamic and static meshes and we could wrap particles uh, around a mesh surface And we could use it stylized or a realistic way. In this case, for example, I'm combining uh, density and velocity data and also using uh, a real-time ray marching shader to calculate dynamic responsive light map. Here's another example for the collision. So the point is that this basic minimalistic input data that we have as a ninja output, as a fluid simulation output, could be used so many ways in a generative manner. So shortly that's the story. And in the next few videos we are getting into the details and trying to figure out how this works.